What up friends, long time no see. I promise I did not plan on being gone this long. It's been like months since my last video. And that was not on purpose. I've been having so many camera issues. It's unbelievable. Like I done thought out content. I done said what I wanted to do for 2024. And I have not been able to accomplish like much of it at all because my camera. So I'm coming to you guys from my cell phone camera, which is not my usual because I like to see myself in the monitor. So I'm looking in the mirror. So if I look off, that's why. I have a shout out to Ali Pearl who is sponsoring this video today. I'm gonna show y'all this kinky straight V part. Y'all know I love a kinky straight. That's my signature look. Shout out to them because they've been patiently waiting for me for a minute. I appreciate y'all so much for that. So anyways, let's get into it. We have a 20 inch kinky straight V part wig. Again, from Ali Pearl Hair. It is very full, as you can see. Most kinky straight units be super, super full. This is definitely another one that's like that. Very full. I might actually even uh, tame it down if I had to do that. I like fullness, but not too much fullness. I got a little head. One of the things in here that I'm already liking that usually does not come with V parts and U parts is this elastic band with the grip on it. That helps me out so much as someone who, again, I have a flat head in the back. It's a small head going on here. I need all the help I can get to make sure my wigs are secure. Otherwise, it's just slapping in the wind back there. It also has the adjustable straps inside as well with the combs. And it does have the mini combs around the V part. I don't usually wear mine with the little sewn part together. So I am going to clip off that excess from where I just ripped it open. And I might be speaking too soon. But one thing I am already seeing in the details of this unit is the flatness right in the part. That is one thing about V parts that is a detail I will kind of look over, but does irritate me is that it doesn't have the construction to lay flat. This is giving flat and sturdy y'all. The flat and sturdiness is actually one of the things that pulls me back from V parts and sends me to U parts sometimes is because it doesn't do this typically. So okay, I'll be per I see y'all with the details. I just had clip-ins in, so I still got the braid down because I didn't take my braids out. I washed my hair and everything, I just didn't take the braids out with it. And I still have the same leave out that I had with my clip-ins. So I'm just gonna readjust the hair that I have left out to fit the V part. I think it might already actually fit the V part because I lay my clip-ins like a V part. Yeah, that's already a V. Is this already a V? Will it work for a V? Or am I gonna have to take my braids out? I was trying not to have to take my braids out. Oh, 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 I think we gonna get it. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually getting ready to go to Charlotte and Atlanta this weekend. So this is low key a get ready with me cause it's really my hairstyle. This ain't even just a demo for y'all. I'm really getting ready right now. Just as I thought, this is laying so flat. Period. Do people still say period? Am I aging myself? My nephew had to explain to me the other day what Riz was. And then I tried to use it and my sisters told me I sounded like I was a millennial now. I'm entering into my auntie era, y'all. I'm gonna turn 30 in like two more months. But I'm here for it. I've been an old so all my life. It's about that time. The 30 is old. Like, I'm exaggerating. It's still young, but I've been an auntie. So fit-wise, it's a little big. Um, Even with the elastic band, like, it's helping for all the support to not be where the part is because that will mess you up. These clips, listen, if it ain't secure, it's going to mess you up. I've lost hair. Trust me. Not from V parts, but like clip-ins from them not being secure enough and having these types of clips. I have lost plugs of hair, it's not fun. We are not secure in the back, y'all. We are not. If your head is at large, you are gonna have to maneuver. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't recommend it because we have to do this all the time. Like that's just what comes with the territory. But sometimes some wigs are real special where they really got us, but this ain't it. You will have to adjust your wig. I'm not even gonna do that right now because it's already on, it's secure, it's where I want it, so. I'm not gonna bother with the back. It's none of my business. I can't see it. But wow, this is a very close matchup to my blow dried, excuse me, air dried hair. I didn't even blow dry yet. I sat under the dryer with some setting foam on my hair to set my part. But wow, that's why I love Kinky Straight. 
I am, however, about to go find some bobby pins because this is not staying in place. All right, so now that I've gotten this secured, I'm gonna fully style this out so y'all can see what it looks like without any added customization to it. And then I'm gonna customize it. We've already covered that this hair is very thick, but it is also very soft, like amazingly soft. It actually feels kind of spongy in a way with it being kinky straight. What I am gonna do is I'm using a little bit of avocado oil. And I'm using avocado oil because I found in trying to make my extensions last as possible that avocado oil or any thin oil, jojoba oil, uh, grapeseed oil, any of those type of thin oils mimic sebum that naturally comes out your hair. That's the natural oils. And so this helps with your extensions to stay nice and smooth and not get dry, matted, and tangled up as quickly as possible, as quickly as it could. Now, granted, it doesn't need a replacement of oils in the hair. But I'm also trying to weigh it down. I could go through the whole thing and hot comb it and then go back and flat iron it, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Flat iron test. It feels very smooth, very silky when I flat iron it. It does feel a little more weighed down since I put the oil on it, which is what I want. I like more of a close to yakky texture when I flat iron kinky straight hair. Now, the key also when you're straightening kinky straight hair is that you wanna go slow and in medium to small size pieces so the heat can really travel through the strands. I don't have the answers on how to get rid of the crinkles, to be honest, so I, I don't know what to tell you on that, but I like the crinkles there because I still feel like it has an element of kinky straight to it. I care more about how weighed down it is than how uncrinkled it looks. If I wanted it to not look crinkled, I would go for a different texture. This is how much oil I'm using, by the way, like not too much. You don't want to cook the hair. I am getting somewhat of shedding as I put the hot chrome through the hair. So there is a note of that. It's not crazy, but it is happening. I don't typically experience too much tangling with kinky straight uh, U parts and V parts. I typically can actually keep the U parts and V parts for a pretty long time. But the back, the back is where it'll get kind of matted and tangled up and dry. And I think it's just because it's rubbing up against my back and my neck a little bit more. And Kiki Straight is like so thick that the rest of it really doesn't touch anything to make it dry or matted and tangled. Like if this were clippings, the thickness would probably stop around here, which is a great thickness actually. So while we letting the B-roll play, I'm gonna talk to y'all real quick. Tell me why I've been finding out over this past couple months. Like I couldn't understand why when I was wearing straighter hair textures, it kept tangling and matting all the time. Like no matter how new the hair was, including like yakky kinky kind of straight. And I realized I was treating it like it was low porosity. Whole time, a lot of my wigs, I'm realizing, are more high porosity. And when I started treating it as such, I've been getting my hair to last so much longer. So that's a tidbit. Because I know while I get hair sent, a lot of times, I still buy hair sometimes. But I know a lot of you are paying a lot of money for hair. And so I just learned that bit. Y'all might have known, but I didn't know. I did not realize, like, you got to test that hair out, like, to see if it's actually low porosity or high porosity. Because my hair is low to mid porosity no nah, my wigs are not i've already put all of the products in my hair before i went to it so i don't need to put any heat protectant or anything like that on it already we've already done all that so i'm gonna put the wax on the hair and i'm gonna let this heat back up because it died on me because I don't want to go through this multiple times, I have this on a pretty high heat. Get the roots, because my relaxer is growing out. The blend is crazy, so I love Kiki Straight. And for those who are wondering, I'm using my Babyless Flat Iron and I have it on 410. And real talk, the hair don't even need it like that. Like the the hot comb got me together actually really good. I'm still gonna do it though. Been doing leave out more 
in the past couple years with sew-ins and quick weaves and V parts and U parts and all that coming more back into style? Or have you been sticking to the lace? Let me know down in the comments, where are you at with it? I'll be honest, for me, I have been very much on the leave out. I would say once they started sending us V part wigs, that's when I really transitioned into wearing leave out a whole lot more. Beforehand, I was still on the wigs. I would do a U part if they sent it to me, but I really wasn't feeling that much. And they used to send me body wave all the time. And I don't mind the body wave, but it ain't... Actually, let me take that back, because I do rock with the body wave U parts, because I just wore one. And I dyed it too. I could have showed y'all me dyeing the hair, but it was my first time i had to get it together first if you follow me on instagram though you probably saw it on my story this is what it's looking like without me thinning it out or doing anything else to it besides straightening it i think for me i'm still gonna go ahead and thin this out just i love how flat this is like when i tell y'all my main issue with v parts is always that this area be chunky that's what sets ali pro apart for me as far as v parts go is because that that mattered Okay, so this is me going through and thinning out the wig. It doesn't actually look like I had to do as much as I did on camera. Like, it looks a whole lot thinner on camera, but in real life, that thing was thick. Now, most of the time they are, so I wasn't surprised by that. But it's just too much hair for me a lot of times in all kinky, straight, any type of wigs. Like, this is usually what I end up doing. And when I do this, I like to go from the middle because I think it's a little more seamless because I am just, you know, cutting the tracks. I mean, I'm cutting them at the root. But I'm not taking the whole track out. So I try to make sure it's in areas that it's not going to come back to bite me. And then I just keep doing that over and over until I get the desired thinness. All right, y'all. So this is a way more comfortable density for me. Um, you can do you. Obviously, you can keep it as thick as it was if you like that look. Especially if you like the big blowout kind of hair. But if you like a tame, more on the yakky side of things, you might want to thin it out. Like, it's not against the rules. You can thin it out if you want to. I love that these wigs come super full, though, because it does give you the option to customize it. That way, if you wanted more hair, you got it. And if you wanted less, it's easier to take out than to put back. And for those who want to know, this is how much hair I had to shed out of it to get it to look like this. Yeah, this is like a whole nother wig in itself. <laughs> I could probably make some clip ins out of this, for real. All right, so I did not get a chance to record my ending review for you guys while I was out of town, but I do have a thorough review for you because I did wear this for the past two weeks. And so I can give you the final results of how this hair is holding up long term. Well, semi long term. Hair is still looking new. It's been two weeks. I've worked out in it consistently these past two weeks and nothing has really changed. I do have to brush the hair out in the back. It will kind of tangle but nothing crazy. I love Kiki Straight for those who don't wanna to have to put a lot of heat on their hair because it'll still blend even in those moments when your roots are puffing or your hair starts to puff if you're completely natural. Shout out to Ali Pearl for sending me this gorgeous unit. I'm always getting compliments. If you're interested, I will have the details down below in the description box. Thanks guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm coming back with more videos for the summer, I promise. I'm off tour now, so I have time to create more content again. And my camera is almost fixed. That's how much I love y'all. I got to it from my phone, which I don't really record from while my camera is being fixed. But anyways, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.